You know one of the hard things about these videos is saying everything I want to say in a concise manner. It's so difficult. But today I want to talk about something with which I think you and I are all too familiar. Self-doubt. That inner critic that tells us we're not good enough, we can't do it, we're not capable enough. Somebody else is smarter, somebody else knows more. Guess what? They might and they might not. That critic though holds us back from being and doing what we really ought to. I want to give you four steps to overcome that inner critic. Uh, so the reason that I'm making this video is I was talking to one of my friends last week. I think this person is amazing. She's capable, she's smart, she's a good leader, she's got a great way of evaluating information. I value her opinion. I, simply, I think she's wonderful, I really do. And she was talking about self-doubt and I shared some of the self-doubt that I've got. Um, so for instance, I am a speaker and a trainer and I have trained in Fortune 500 organizations and yet I doubt my capabilities. I doubt my abilities sometimes and think, well, I'm not as good as that person over there or I don't have the information that that person does. And then I stop and I realize I've written a book. I've interviewed another 13 Olympians and two recovering addicts and a cancer survivor and hundreds of other people uh, in smaller interview formats to find out how and why they do what they do. And I've come through some pretty difficult circumstances and I got some amazing counseling and insight uh, during some of those tough times. And, and I've got some knowledge and information to share. And I've been a sales manager and a salesperson who had great results. So even though we experience great things in our lives and, and we are very capable, we think, oh, compared to that other person, I'm just not there. So I wanna share with you four ways to help improve your self-confidence and overcome this self-doubt because I think you are capable. I think you are supposed to give some important things to this world and you can't do it if you live in that self-doubt and you live in what we call the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is you're afraid that you'll be found out as a charlatan, as somebody who's posing and is, is a fake because you think you're not quite there yet. Well, so one of the things that I've struggled with is I'm not gonna put myself out there in a hyper-marketed format I'm not going to use these fake countdown timers or these silly webinar squeeze pages or whatever they're called, I don't even know, that tell you I only have a certain number of spots left and lie to you like that. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be authentic with you the whole way through. And I'm just going to share with you real information. And so here's what I'm going to share with you. Four real informational steps on how to overcome that self-doubt. Because I don't want you to be the imposter, I also want you to do this very authentically. Number one. Remember your previous wins. You have done some amazing things in your life. Remember those, look back on those and note them. You've done some incredible things. Number two, remember your unique gifts, talents, and abilities. You were brought into this world with those unique gifts, talents, and abilities, and as long as you're playing to those, you're not an imposter in the least. In fact, you're fulfilling your highest and best duty and bringing out all that is best within you. Number three, Gather around your champions, um, and I don't mean physically, but I mean virtually. Gather your champions around you. So it's nice sometimes to be reminded of what those people who admire what we're doing think of us. And you don't always get that feedback. People aren't always willing to share that information. I called a high school teacher who made a huge impact in my life just a few years ago to tell him that. And he said, this is really nice. I don't get many of these phone calls. And I thought, holy smokes, you were the best teacher in the school. And if you don't get these calls very often, wow, that's, that's sad. So remind yourself of what those people who appreciate what you're doing think. And here's another part of it. It's good to have that. And it really is. And it builds us up and it's reaffirming. Also keep in mind, though, that somebody else's opinion of you doesn't matter in the least. They don't know you perfectly. You're the only one who can evaluate perfectly what you're doing. And even though you see your flaws and you see your faults, guess what? We've all got them. I love this whole non-photoshopping thing in the last several years. Those models don't look like that. It's photoshopped. And the fourth thing you can do, my friend, is take action. And I mean today. Take action toward that goal, that dream. Take action toward that thing that you know you're supposed to do. Do the one thing that is needful. Because a lot of times, those people who are moving forward are those who are simply taking action. They're not the smartest, they're not the most capable, but they're doing something. So take action today, remind yourself of all the great things you've done, the previous wins, write them down, gather those champions around you, remember your unique gifts, and if you operate within those four, you'll be smashing it, my friend, and I hope you can overcome that self-doubt and be exactly who you're supposed to be.
I hope I'll see you down the road.